Exxon Mobil is a company everybody is familiar with. Stock ticker XOM. Most traders have heard about it. They know what business they're in and they've been familiar with it all their lives. This video is not about Exxon on mobile. It's about trading stock that you know. It's about trading a basket of stocks that you're familiar with. I hope this video is about picking some good stocks that you know of about and are familiar with. Developing your own simple strategy, RSI, EMA, MACD. Know which stocks trade well with that simple system and use some good risk reward after your inner trade. If you do all those things, you'll have a profitable and rewarding trading session. What I'd like to do is talk about using a free program called Trading View in order to help you pick and analyze stocks and show you some hints on how I use it. For years, I've used a program called OmniBroker, which allows me to test a basket full of stocks, stocks that I know of, and get and receive singles in order to analyze and react to the situation. I know, I know I said I was going to show you how to use TradingView, but I first want to start with where I'm at and where I was and is, and it'll help you go ahead and make better decisions if you want to buy a paid program or a free one. This is a paid program. It costs you around 300 bucks, and it allows me to go ahead and take a basket full of stocks here they are here and then write some script to program it and do various different cuts it's a very simple script once you i mean it looks look complicated here but it once you get into it it's not so bad and then i can go ahead and do cuts there's the buys for the day there's the shorts and there's not shorts and what it's saying is this is the rsi buys mgm you should go short it's based on my simple principle which it says hey if the RSI is above the 70 and drops below. That's the time to do it. And that singles, you can do that within three bars or four bars after, after the zigzag switches. And it did, the zigzag has switched. So is the MACD. The MACD has got the same rule, is that when you get a single and the MACD is below the zero line, which it is, uh, excuse me, for a short, the MACD has to be above the zero line. And for long, it's it below it. We don't want to take it below it. Um, the stronger singles are above it for short for MACD. Uh, but the rules are very simple, and you can apply them and visually apply them. And uh, But I don't need to do that. I have a program that shows me all the trades that I can possibly take. So that's really nice. And each night, I get a little report, and I'll make my plans for the day. Now, let's get on to trading view. In trading view... It has a back tester, by the way. That's a back tester and a screener, but it only lets you back test one stock at a time. Whereas OmniBroker, where I was using, I can back test that whole series of, of stocks all at one time. It makes it a lot easier. That's one reason why I don't use TradingView for everything. But it allows me also to have a list of stocks. And here's the list of stocks now Apple, Telsa. And you go down, and based on some rules, again, here's that zigzag. And if the RSI is going down and it's down below and the zigzag is in that same direction, which it's not, you could take that, that trade. Likewise, for the MACD, you could do the same thing. Take that trade if if the MAC you had a little red ball and it was above the zero line. Okay, And it is above the zero line, but you don't have the little ball. But you might get one soon. But you have to have the zigzag go, going in that direction. Or, in my case here, the zigzag has not not know what it's doing like this one. This bar, it knew exactly what it was doing, but now this bar is causing it some problems. So that's when you can, when it's, when it knows, when you have some, the zigzag not knowing what it's doing, we're assuming it's going to go down, and it's a red bar, we're assuming it'll go down, and that's when you can take that trade. If it was, if the RSI was dropping, or they had the ball here. This would be a nice trade, if, if you get, if you get the, the right conditions. But it's a list, and you can make a list on on trading view in the free version very nice but i would like to get a little you know hone in a little bit this is a long list that's not a long list but that's fang stock but my master list give me that these stocks here are all stocks that that i know and love and they got a nice list for one reason or another nike 
but I want to do what, what I was doing over in the Omni Broker, okay? And I don't want to pay for the program, okay? So how, I'm like, how can I do this? Let's look at the, the stock screener for a minute. So you double click on this stock screener, brings this little thing up, and you can go ahead and define it further. For a minute, we will do that. You have 10,000 matches, okay? And you can go ahead and, and sort this, the strong buys. But the problem is, has, has anybody heard of Leader Capital? Well, I heard of Wells Fargo, by the way. Well, but some of these things here, I don't know anything about it. That's why I say it's, it's best to have 10, 20, 100, 150 stocks that you know the names of rather than going through. It's just, you just don't know. But you can filter out. Now, let's let's do a little filtering. Let's filter on the average volume. We want it to be at least a mil. And that takes out 3,000. We want the market cap to be at least 300 million. Let's make it 2 billion. Let's use the large cap. Mid cap, large cap, and that took it and down to fourteen hundred. And over here in the technicals, we went to RSI, and they can choose one of the fourteen. That's everybody else uses it. I want a little quicker action, so I want it to be. I want to. I'm going to go long, so I want my RSI to be below thirty. So I'm going to say thirty-five. That way, if I miss it just a little bit, I catch it. It's a matter of preference. You can do anything you want. There's also an MACD here, and that brought it down to three hundred and thirty. Simple moving average, and we are going to do a strong buy and a buy for the oscillator. And that brought it down to six matches. Ramp, anybody heard of any of these, these stocks? I haven't, and you can go ahead and check them out. Zigzag doesn't know. There's nice long lines here. Okay, that's what you look for when you're doing doing this, and if, especially if you're making a list. You want those lines to be nice and long. But it seems to be no momentum whatsoever, and I don't know what it even do, does. So you can, this is not going to work out. The point of doing this was, this is the way most people do. They come go to the screener every day. They do some criteria, and then go go to the stocks, and they go ahead and buy stocks that they never even heard of. And um, I think you'd be much better off to buy stocks that you know. So you can have various different lists in the free version of Trading View, and also. You can have and flag various different stocks. This is my blue list, which happens to be all the, the basket of stocks that I know and love. The same basket of stocks that I'm using over in OmniBroker, except for I didn't update the last 20 I put in, but um, I added some security um, stocks this past weekend. But it's the same basket of stocks that I know and love and know a little bit about. And you should, everybody should have a basket of stock they know a little, little, little bit. But I flagged them. Now watch. You can flag them different colors for meaning different things. But the on, the, what I found out is you can only flag one stock, one color. And that makes a, a, a problem because, um, you know, you, when you do, I want to use the flag to scan into my screener. So I flagged these stocks. That, that's the ones I know and love. And I'm going to turn them on over in my screener right here. I'm going to turn this over here off. And you see there's 228. And I think there's about another 20 that I just added. BJ's. Oh, you can you can do the same thing you did before. You can sort them with various different cuts. You can do um, other things. You need to save the column first here. And you can sort them as well. There's the one I just saved. And... Let's look at some buys. Strong buy. It is. Zigzag knows what it's doing. The MACZ says go down uh, very soon. And so is the RSI. So it says, hey, I'd be cautious about continuing on up because it's, it's over bought. But you have to wait to that regime change till the Zigzag doesn't know what it's doing. Right now it knows what it's doing. There's at and I don't know. Does anybody think at and T is going to go out of business? I read an article that said that it doesn't have a future after 10 years. Zigzag knows what it's doing up to here, and now it's head scratching. If it knew, if the, if the price was still continuing, it would know what it's doing, but it it's, it dropped, and now it's just holding. It doesn't know what it's doing. MAC these thinks it's going to go down, and RSI says it's going to go down too. And the way I play it is when the Zigzag does not know what it's doing, and I get a single. When the RSI dropped below the, the 70, which it has, I take the trade. But would you take a trade with this consolidation like this? 
there's no trend. Anyway, you can go, and a well, nice thing about this is you can take the RSI that you scan for that wasn't find any stocks, and you can go and say, oh, these are all in the oversold situation. By the way, I uh, for my charts up here, I use an RSI 9. This is a 7. It's the closest thing to have. You can't change it. So you have to just kind of go with it, okay? And the MACD, too, I'm using zero lag up here. And so if you're going to do a cut on MACD, you have to use a standard one. But it gets you close within two or three days. And it just it gives you some kind of alerting to be ready for it. So what we got here? We got, yes, you're in the overbought condition. You can't go with this one. RSI says it's overbought. But the zigzag says, hey, we're trucking. I know what I'm doing. And it, you, can't, you should wait till you get a regime change and the RSI drops. Or regime change and the MACD get the little red ball that's above the zero line for short. Now you have you, you have the same thing I had over there, you, but you have to do it individually. You can go down your list because what you have now is a list of overbought stocks that might be a, a change. And you can go ahead and see it visually really quick. And here's your singles. This is your singles. These are all stocks that possibly you should be thinking about sh shorting. Let's see if the opposite is true. Yes, it works. It works. Is that the bottom? Zigzag says, you better wait. You don't know. Zigzag says, it knows what it's doing. RSI says, hey, pretty soon this thing should pop. But you can't, you can't take that trade until the, the zigzag. So it'll be a couple more days. So each day you could come down really quickly if you're using the RSI indicator and re really, really quickly um, and scan for your stocks that and see what singles. This is this is an easy way of, of getting four, five, six, seven, eight trades that you possibly could take when the market opens because you're ready for it. You could do the same thing when the MACD, which is a standard MACD, is, is negative and positive. So you can go ahead and search for and do a, a, a right click and sort for negative and positive. And that'll give, and you can quickly look at your zigzag and the MACD and quickly find some singles for the, that way. Clicking and changing the table to oscillator. Coming to the far right, you see momentum and you can, you can search for stocks that... That the momentum is going down, or momentum is going up. Here's your MACD single. You click on that, it's a positive. So when this MACD is positive, you should see a similar type situation over here in your zero lag. Sometimes you don't get it. Uh, and that, you look for some short conditions when that happens and you got it up here zigzag is going down macd is positive look for short conditions unknown zigzag doesn't know this is a positive you may want to go down anyway i use it this very infrequently for the macd but and i look at my zero lag and see if it, if it if i get a positive i look to see where the negative is at positive see where the negative it was negative was two days ago that is a good one and it's not too late caterpillar not too late. Zigzag is down. Zero lag down. This is not too late. See what I'm doing? I'm looking for, these are positive here, but I don't really use that because I'm using a, a, a zero lag, which is different. And see where the little red ball is because I'm. these are all positive. Little red ball. And that's been maybe seven or eight days. It's too late. You'd want this little red red ball or purple ball to be within a day or two. This is a good one here. You could take that one. Anyway, this is how I use the scanner. If, again, I use a, a program that I've, that it's exact, and I wrote some, an algorithm for it. But if you don't want to pay, you can go ahead and put your list of, of um, stocks that you know, turn on the flags, flag it here, and that way you only get, when you do a scan, you only get the stocks that are flagged. And there you can do a sort and do various different cuts and see if they, if you have a valid sing, single. So you do some sorts. We'll give you the single that 
I was getting in Omni Broker, but it's rough. But if you're doing swing trading and you're doing it on a daily time frame or a weekly time frame, rough is good enough. So in summary, the essential elements of a good trading system are having a strategy, a simple strategy. And I showed you in Trading View, there's many different strategies you can, you can filter on, but you have to use their settings. And then I did not show you this, but if, if you take those trades using a proper risk reward ratio, in other words, you, your profit is more than your loss, you have a win, winning combination. But the first thing you need to have is stocks that trade well with your simple system. And you have to have a list of those. And each morning you have to be able to get these signals. In other words, to do your due diligence in the morning, you need to have this, this list of singles to go ahead and react to at the open. And I hope I showed you one way of getting those simple those signals is by doing flags, setting the filter, and then doing sorts. Sorts based on the rough strategies that are in embedded into TradingView. Not perfect, but I think it's really, really usable. Please like and subscribe. I hope this helped. In a few months, I'll redo this video and organize it better. But right now, this is what I've got. Nothing's perfect in life. Happy trading. Catch you on the flip.